I'm Renee Edge from Oz Property Professionals. We're buyers agents based in Sydney, and we're going to be discussing today how the government restrictions have impacted how we buy and sell property in today's climate. The first restriction that was brought in was that there are to be no open home inspections, and this is in line with the self distancing laws and making sure that groups of people aren't coming in close contact with each other. And the second restriction that was brought in was the cancellation of all live auctions. This, of course, is going to impact the way that we buy and sell property. So I have Matt O'Shea and Fraser Glenn from Ray White Oatley. They're principals there and they're based in Sydney South and they're going to be discussing how this has really impacted um, the real estate market for sellers and their vendors and how they are adapting to this new way of operating. Hi, Matt and Fraser. How are you? Good, Renee. Yourself? Yeah, yeah, we're going good. Hi. Surprisingly, we're still um, really busy on the buyer side. We have a lot of buyers currently looking at the current climate as a great opportunity to be purchasing property. Um, so from your vendor side, how are you operating with the restrictions to open home inspections? I'll take this one. Um, look, we're, we're being very selective um, about the buyers we're taking through the door. So I guess naturally at the moment, a lot of people who are just sort of starting to look and coming through open homes like aren't getting involved at the moment. So really from our perspective, we are like really qualifying our buyers before we're taking them through the property. So we're finding we're getting a really good strike rate from buyers through the door to ones who are actually serious on the property. So there are a number of measures, I guess, that we put in place as an office to make sure that we're getting the right people through the door. Um, we're doing things like asking like questions to qualify the buyers, like making sure they've got the finance approved and they're ready to go. And maybe buyers we've met at other properties and have been on other options that we know that are serious. Um, we've also been taking like sort of video footage of our properties and sending it through to buyers prior to them inspecting the home. So say, for example, they come through the house and the first thing they say is, oh, there's too many stairs, we're not interested. We can send them video footage, make sure they're, they're aware of the layout of the house before they come through the door. And that way we're not wasting everyone's time, you know? So we're like, like I said, instead of taking 20 people through an open house, there might be three buyers come through uh, like in a, in a week. Yeah. The, whole, the whole landscape of what we do is have to change in terms of showing property. So it used to be a numbers game. If we had 100 people view a property, that would be seen as a positive. Whereas now, we would rather have two or three people view a property, but they're absolutely qualified. So we've asked the questions regarding their finance. We've been very transparent about what our owner's expectations are. So a buyer's coming through the door. We've qualified. We know they've got the finance. They know what the vendor's asking price-wise, and they've seen a video of the property. Obviously, we're, we're sort of learning on the run. It's all new to us. But we've, in this early stages, we've, we've had some good success. Yeah, so I guess from the buyer's perspective, um, it's, the current climate is quite difficult to navigate and I think as buyers agents we're really able to help some people navigate through any changes that the government brings in or any restrictions. Um, all of our clients we make sure they're um, you know finance ready and things like that so a lot of clients will be coming to us and then we'll be dealing with real estate agents directly just to help them um, understand what this means for them. Um, for vendors, are you finding that they're kind of getting a bit worried about the current climate? Are you finding that there's less um, vendors wanting to sell? Um, there's less property on the market for sure. I think there's a little bit of fear out there. People, you know, reading newspapers and watching the news and there's just a general paranoia um, in general at the moment. The reality is the vendors who are listing their properties at the moment are still seeing good results. It's just like we said before, there are less there are less buyers coming through properties because they're being well qualified. But those buyers who are coming through are really strong, active buyers, finance approved, ready to go. So we're encouraging vendors to still list their property for sale because we genuinely don't feel as though there's been been any downturn, there hasn't been any drop in pricing, um, but a shortage of stock essentially is what's feeding that price up that price up. because we've had good results there's no reason at this point in time for anyone to to sort of you know freak out and not put the property on the market now we're certainly being selective about the property we're putting on on the internet um and we have yeah we're more than normal like because we we're pretty high percentage of our properties will make it into the internet for us right now there's maybe you know 25 30 percent of our stock that's available off market 
Yeah, and I think that's where, as buyers agents, we're able to help them as well. We have relationships with a lot of agents around in the area that um, we can contact them and get access to those properties off market for a range of clients. So um, I think this is a stage in the market where selling agents and buyers agents are able to collaborate and work really well together. Um, but just reflecting on what Matt was saying earlier about how some vendors are, um, you know, holding off on what happens and things like that. I think that has provided a real cushion to property prices. Um, there's plenty of buyers out there, but we're seeing that because some people are fearful, um, there's a reduction in stock and that's actually helping cushion the property market and ensure that we don't see any um, large dips in property. Um, so for a buyer, um, how do you see the way that we negotiate on property changing in the current climate? It's a lot more transparent the way that we're negotiating. So um, we'll be very upfront, as, as you would know and as buyers will know, it, with a traditional auction campaign, the agents will tend to be a tad conservative on price because, again, it's, it's trying to be a little bit, little bit careful with what you're quoting, make sure you get buyer interest and hoping that competition on auction day will drive the price upwards. Whereas right now, if we're only bringing two or three buyers through each property, it's really, really important that those buyers are coming through the door knowing what the expectation is. So... There's no grey area, it's very black and white. This is what my vendor is hoping for. This is our expectation regarding price. So as a buyer, I think you're going to have more clarity and more transparency now on property pricing than at, than at any other time. Yeah, I think it's certainly a really good time to be buying. The people who take the opportunity um, in the current climate to purchase property, in the long term, they're the ones who are going to be the most successful with their property because property is a long-term investment or if you're buying a home, it's for the long term. So people who take the opportunity now to buy are the ones who will come out at the end of this ahead, I think. Um, and I just wanted to quickly touch on the restrictions around cancellation of auctions. How are you dealing with that? We're probably, um, we were talking about this beforehand, like we're, we probably normally run about 80% 80, 80 of our properties go into auction. We do do a fair bit of private treaty, but a big bulk of our properties would normally go to auction. So like, we are reverting more to private treaty than we normally would. As Matt touched on there, probably 90% at the moment we're, we're, we're going down the private treaty method, very transparent, asking price. You know, we're not expecting to have three or four buyers competing on any property. We are still having some properties that we are um, listing as an auction. Maybe they're sort of hard to price, a bit of a unique home. So, you know, we, we want to put a time frame on it. We just sort of have to adapt to, um, adapt to the climate. And if we just keep rolling out what we're doing prior, we're kidding ourselves because market conditions have changed considerably. The property is going to auction. Are you doing live auctions or how, how does it actually work? We are um, obviously we're, we're a bit new to it, but we are um, we're doing the online auction. So we like we've got a couple booked in that are that are going to be coming on into auction in the early part of May. So basically, you can have either the auctioneer in your office or the auctioneer in their own office, and all the buyers at home online, similar to, to what we're doing now. Um, it's still transparent; everyone can see each other. Um, so really, it is the same process. It's the same level of transparency, but everyone's doing it from the comfort of their own home. With the, with the market being like it is, we've got to make sure that buyers feel very comfortable in the process of, um, of competing for a property. Yeah, absolutely. And do you believe that um, being all new technology and a new way of doing things, that's why the auction clearance rates have dropped to around 37% last weekend? I think there's a few things at play. Like in reality, this is all like three weeks ago, we had five auctions on site. And they all sold under the hammer. Like, it feels like it was a lifetime ago. Like a lot has happened in a short space of time. And I think a lot of people are just sort of getting their heads around what's, what's happened. And when sort of dust settles and people realize that maybe the market hasn't been too impacted, confidence will sort of start to creep in. Right now, we're going to be a lot more selective about the properties we put up to auction. So I think that the, the clearing rates that we'll see moving forward are going to be a lot more, you know, reflective of what's actually going on. And clear, clearance rates... A very like we don't use clearance rates as a measure of how successful or how strong the property market is. You got to look at things like in the last couple of weeks with the changes that have occurred, there have been a high percentage of agents, I imagine, who have had auction campaigns which they've converted to private treaty. So in terms of auction clearance rates, that may be represented as a failed auction or a property that hasn't cleared. When when the reality is, it's just that the method of sale has been changed. So. I don't read a lot into auction clearance rates. I know being out there at the moment, 
day to day, week to week, and seeing what's happening. There are still good motivated vendors. There are still plenty of active buyers who are wanting to buy properties. So I, I'm not personally concerned at all by the, the perceived low clearance rates because I don't think that's a fair representation of what's happening. Yeah, I think we'll see a lot of volatility in the way that the auction clearance rates are. Um, 37%, I guess, is an expected for the first weekend of um, doing live auctions um, online and things like that. So I'm sure we'll see a lot of swings in that and um, people are still finding their way through how they're going to operate, um, whether they're going to move to private treaty or still pursue with doing auctions. But um, yeah, like we could talk about this all day, but I think um, we should just wrap things up. So um, if you want to get in touch with Matt or Fraser, you can contact them through raywhiteoatly.com.au. You can get in touch with me um, at ozpropertyprofessionals.com.au and you can join our base camp property club on Facebook for free information and property updates. Thanks guys. See ya. Thanks. Bye. 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 Bye.